So what's up? Um, I just checked the how many miles I went and everything, and we're at 392.9. 392. Oh, I was I was entering my passcode. What, what, what am I doing? All right, all right. 392.9 is how many miles I've gone on this tank, and obviously we're right at E. The truck was about to not start. I, I'm sorry about I, I love this truck so much, I can't believe it. <laughs> all right, so 392.9 divided by, I think I have 23 gallons in this truck. And there we go. If you can see that right there. That's how much, that's my fuel mileage, 17.0. So basically on the dot of 17. Now I do a lot of, I do a lot of highway driving on this truck, but then there's also a little bit of city driving. Of course, whenever I make a wrong turn, then it's just a whole, it's just a whole lot of nonsense. And then you see like the snow burnout and stuff. So it's not pure highway driving. So maybe I average a little bit better. But that's not, that seems about right for 17. And that's crazy because I'm running mud terrain tires. I have a lift that took the air dam off. Of course, we have the damage now, so we're not as aerodynamic. It's completely ridiculous, but still averaging 17. So hopefully whenever we get everything fixed, maybe it'll go up to 18. We'll see. And that was, that was for that tank. So now that we have the fuel additive in, it also may go up even higher as well. So who knows? All right, so let's fill her up. Let's get her done, son. Yeah, start using this thing over here. There we go. There we go. And don't worry, I did forget to reset the trip inside the truck for this next fill up, and then we'll see if this fuel additive does work. So obviously, it's not going to be a one-day process. We're gonna have to see once the whole tank goes down and. Honestly, I drive pretty conservatively, so I think we'll get a good amount of time out of it. Well, that doesn't sound good. Even though the truck is dirty and damaged, it still looks very clean. The mud terrain tire update. The total inside is completely shaved off, as you can see there. And then the sides here, it's getting pretty bald. And of course over here. And I did fill it up, so I'm trying to get that middle section to wear down faster. But as you can see, these tires are pretty much done. I'm probably going to still try to sell them because they are show tires and all. Maybe some will get some use out of them, I don't know. But obviously, these tires are not going to last too long. I'm also thinking about zip tying my shock boots there because they always seem to want to come off, especially whenever I flex the truck off-road. So um, I think zip ties will do the will do the job. I think, that, I think they actually might have came with zip ties. I didn't use them. But either way, I have a lot of zip ties at home, so I'll have something to use. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. $61.93 for 23.8 gallons. So actually, it's 24, so maybe I actually am getting under 17 gallons. That is crazy. I didn't know I had 24 gallons in this truck, and I've had it for so long. That's, that's pretty crazy. Here we go, the moment of truth. Let's see if it just starts right up. Oh, yeah. So we're back on the road now and I'm actually heading to a farther place to get this supplies because I just love this location better. Unfortunately, we're going to have to travel a lot farther and hopefully I don't get pulled over. People's lights are already on because it's a dark cloudy day today. Whew, I don't want anything to happen, man. This truck over here just made it to the Walmart, and damn, this thing is sick. Look at that. Emax, bro. Holy cow. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm about to head in there and get a year supply, two year supply actually, of a lot of things, and then I'll be back and then we'll explain the story. And I brought you guys into Walmart 100 trillion type from time, so I'm going to just go in there and I'll be back in a second. Alright, see ya. All right, guys, we're back in the truck. Just finished the energy drink. Went and got a year's supply of pencils, paper, 
And I also bought two cans of paint because I'm going to need it eventually. I don't know how much I use during a year, but it's probably not just going to be two cans. But I figure that's going to be good enough for now. Bought something for this, for the RAM, actually. And I also bought a binder. And I tried to find a year supply of something else, but they didn't have it. So I might have to get it tomorrow or something. But yeah. So it's getting dark outside, but let's get to the story. Story time now on the Upshift Z71 channel. I also got this box for the automotive shelf in my garage. But anyways, yeah. So yesterday, I ended up the video... And I dropped my friend off, and it was just me. So I'm driving home and everything. I buy the Ford dealer, actually, that same Ford dealer that I was at before. I'm just coasting along very slowly. Got the GPS up, ready for just a nice drive home. This cop is pulling out of this gas station. Well, the road next to it, the alleyway. Turning the opposite direction. I'm thinking, oh, well, I guess I'm fine here. And I just coast right by him. Obviously, they see me. It's two guys in the car and everything. And... I noticed that he turns his other turn signal on to follow me. He starts following me for, I'd say, about five seconds. He lights me up. Lights are shining and everything. I have some footage, actually, and I'll show you that in a second. And, yeah, so he lights me up. I pull into this one parking lot. I don't know what it is. It's just some kind of business or something. I don't know. It's already closed. There's no cars there. Perfect place to just pull into a big truck like this one. And then I'm just sitting there. And then the lights, the lights are just shining, and I take this video. Got pulled over, guys. So I pull into the parking lot. They come and talk to me. They get my license, registration, everything. They tell me my headlights out, and then they go and run my information. And while running it, I noticed that they never even questioned me. They never questioned me about the damage of the front end of the truck. I don't know if it's because it was dark outside and the whole front of the truck is black that they never, they never noticed that the full truck up there is just is dented and damaged and everything. So they just said it's my headlights out. They say my information's good. They ask me all these questions. Uh, am I driving intoxicated or anything? And no, it's just a it's just a bad headlight. And they explained what I was doing. And I came from Roadhouse and went shooting and everything. They even asked about the box of ammo that I had in there if they had if I had any weapons or anything. If obviously I didn't. And I said it was just an empty box. I'm willing to show it to them and everything. But it's it was a very good conversation. I kept my hands on the steering wheel. I got all my information out and ready and everything. I, I had my window down the whole way, and I don't know. It was just a, it was just a, it was an easy meet. I didn't get a ticket or anything. They were very friendly people, and yeah. So was, as long as you just stay calm, keep your head on the steering wheel, don't go fiddling around and all your stuff, and that that's what makes them nervous. You don't want to do that. So I didn't get a fix a ticket. Like I said, I didn't get a fix a ticket. I didn't get any kind of ticket at all. They didn't even ask me how long I've been driving. If I knew that the headlight was out or how long I've been driving with it out. And then ask me anything like that. I'm driving the same truck and I have to drive home. And we I saw all those officers today on the road. So hopefully nothing happens and I'll be good. So yeah, that's the story with that one. That's actually the first time I've actually ever been pulled over before. That's crazy. And I got a little clip of it. Next time I'll try to get more. I don't have a GoPro right now, but I'm gonna buy one soon and then I'll be able to mount that or have it just sitting somewhere. Of course, I don't wanna I don't wanna piss them off. Obviously, it's legal for me to film, but I'm not trying to just hold my camera up. And of course, I didn't show you guys the parts that did come in the mail. Obviously, you saw all that big box but I didn't even show you guys what was in that so I'm gonna have to do a big parts reveal video as well so there's definitely a lot of stuff that I have to do so I'm gonna head home and hopefully I don't get pulled over if I do obviously you'll see that in tomorrow's video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you love trucks as much as I do hit that subscribe button have a nice day